like the sign says, new Nashville hot chicken. Hi, how you doing today? Pretty good, how about yourself? Doing great. Hey, I want to check out the new uh, Nashville hot chicken, and I'd like that with the tenders, please. Sure thing. What else for you? Um, but instead of coleslaw, I'd like to get uh, potato wedges. Okay, no problem. Perfect. And um, let me just get a drink. Let me get like a sweet tea. Okay, you that. want the large tea for 99 cents? That sounds good. All right, so I got the tender Nashville hot basket. Change it to wedges with a tea. Anything else? That's it, thanks. 692, thank you, and drive around. All right. You know, they might be able to mimic southern food in certain areas, but you can't mimic southern hospitality. We're here in Forest City, North Carolina at KFC. We're checking out the new Nashville hot chicken. Uh, just came out the other day and I just heard about it. So it's lunchtime here in the Carolinas and I'm getting ready to get started on this. Uh, Nashville is just a hop, skip and a jump over the mountains that direction to me. So uh, Southern food, hot food, and certainly food with pickles on it are indigenous to my area. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting this started. All right, we've got a big bag of hot food here. Uh, the total came out to $6.92. I opted for the tenders. I know that they have it two different ways. You can either get it uh, as just the hot chicken, uh, like with a thigh and a drumstick, uh, or you can get it with the tenders, or I assume you can get a breast and a wing as well. I actually have high expectations for this. I'm really happy they put out this new hot chicken. I like how KFC is sort of taking it to the next level. So it's nice to see them do something like this, uh, certainly in the middle of the winter time, being that it's so cold outside right now. So I'm looking forward to getting this into me. Let's get it started. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and knock out what's in the bag here. Looks like you've got some delicious looking potato wedges. Check these out. Now that's what I'm talking about. This feels about like a half pound. There is a whole potato in here. So I'm really glad that I got this uh, instead of the coleslaw. Let's try one of these. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can hear the crunch, but they're good. Not too hot. Real crunchy. Seasoned perfect. Let's take a look at these. take a bite you can just see the the pepper and the seasonings real good mm. can't go wrong with potato wedges you know I wish more places offered them I'm tired of seeing french fries everywhere potato wedges are where it's at real good let's check out comes in its own little fancy container Warning, you're about to taste the best spicy chicken you've ever had. All right, KFC, you've really reached for your expectations to be super high on this now. You've even put it on your label. So I already had good expectations going into this, and now I'm about to eat the best spicy chicken I've ever had. So let's get going. Oh, oh, okay. Now immediately, yeah. Now immediately you get hit with kind of the sensation of that this is gonna be spicy. Um, they look, they look pretty good, actually. There's the pickles. And, uh, you get a biscuit. Um, KFC biscuits, I can go anywhere between here to New York to Japan and I'll get this very same biscuit. It's not anything to, to really, um, go on about. But I'm sure it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little taste. Now it's completely soaked in this delicious looking hot sauce that they put in here. That's probably going to make it way over the top good. So I'm going to get at it right now. Mm. So, as I expected. Now, for all intents and purposes, I've had some terrible biscuits at KFC. Dry, hard, kind of small. Um, you know, you can use them like a doorstop. This is actually on... on the scale of things probably one of the, the better biscuits I've had at KFC if not the best and that gives me a good idea of what the flavor of the chicken is going to be and if this chicken is as crispy as I think it's going to be you can already see the spice kind of getting at me see how my face is getting a little red this is going to be pretty spicy stuff so I'm ready to get it started let's go ahead and knock out one of these pickles real quick I love pickles mm. they feel crispy they're certainly hot and fresh um, let me go ahead and grab one of these here. 
check that out, right? Oh, uh, if you could smell what it smells like here in the car right now, definitely know it's going to be spicy. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Now. Woo! Woo! Oh! Oh my! Okay. I'm, I'm wooing because it's hot, like it just came out of the fryer. But it's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Let's try it with the pickle. Yeah. This is definitely not like most KFC chicken I've had. It's really good. Wow. Look at the meat. The steam is just pouring out of it. I don't think the camera can pick that up, but it is it is hot and it is spicy. Yeah, and of course you have the usual, you know, grease at the bottom, but who goes to a fried chicken place and complains about grease? That's silly. Look at that. Look at that little nugget of joy I just pulled off. Oh my goodness. That thing is going to be so crispy and spicy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You can hear the crunch, right? Oh, sorry. They were just telling me to turn down the crunch next to me. I'm starting to sweat because they are a little spicy. Um, it's it's nothing, you know, that you have to really worry about if you don't like spicy food. You know, a lot of people don't like spicy food and they'll just completely avoid something like this, like this promotion, if you don't like hot food. It has that level of heat that somebody that doesn't typically like hot food isn't gonna be uncomfortable eating this, but it certainly is gonna open up your sinuses. It's It's good. It's spicy. It's the spiciest chicken, I guess, I've had at KFC. You know, it doesn't taste like a hot wing. Uh, it doesn't have like a Tabasco kind of flavor. It's definitely a very um, peppery, but like a red peppery, like a cayenne or like a serrano chili pepper that they've sort of ground up and put into a sauce. And I guess they kind of base the sauce here. I'm going to kind of put this on my fingertip. I know it looks disgusting, but just so you can kind of get a, a visual and it's absolutely delicious. Let's take one more bite here and I'm going to go ahead and rate this. Honestly, every single bite gets better and better. I hope for KFC's sake and their shareholders sake that they keep this on the menu. I I'm absolutely sweating here. It's that spicy. All right, it's that time. I'm going to go ahead and rate this chicken now. Uh, I was really excited to check this out today. I just finished my class at school, and I heard about this, and I wanted to come up this afternoon and go ahead and try this out for lunch. Um, I was very impressed. I already had high expectations from KFC on this. I think that they delivered a knockout. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to go ahead and rate this. This, this is a solid 10 if not even, you know, pushing a little more. I think if I had like a ranch dip or something like this, it'd be out of the park. Everybody has KFC. That's the nice thing about it. So you should be able to go check this out. I think it's only if you live in the United States. You saw it was only six bucks and change for a whole combo. You get three pieces of chicken, a biscuit, a side, and a drink. In my case, a 99 cent big sweet tea, which I, for whatever reason, have not drank hardly any throughout this entire review. So I suspect that this will get a, probably a lot of really good rave reviews. If the people who try this out and review this have the same chicken experience that I had, they're going to rate this really high. It's good. Good job, KFC. I love it. All right. Thanks for watching another Fast Food Pit Stops. This was another great review. Uh, we've got a lot more cool things coming up in the works. So I appreciate you watching and look forward to seeing you again.